hi guys welcome to my channel today i'll be showing you how to draft a basic bodice pattern for kids from three months to 12 years please do well to subscribe to my channel and turn on the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever i post the video let's get into the video this is the measurement for three months these are just the basic measurement like the standard measurement this for six months this is for 12 months or one year. This is for two years. For three years. For four years. For five years. For six years. Seven years. Eight years nine years ten years eleven and twelve years so for the neck width and the neck depth it depends on the individual it depends if you want it very deep if you want a v-neck round neck a square neck so and for the width it depends if you want the shoulder to be so tiny or wide so the neck width actually depends and these measurements depends on um the baby too but this is just a standard measurement that will work for a this age range but it's better you take the child's measurements to be very sure because some kids are more chubby than some so let's dive into the measurements for this tutorial i'll be using a four years old measurement to illustrate so i'll be ruling out my starting line this is just like my starting line And then I will measure my half length. That's the first, which is nine, nine inches. And I'm going to measure nine and a half. Half inch seam allowance. This will enable you join, join it to the bottom of the dress. If you are making a dress. So next we're going to insert our shoulder measurements which is nine we're just going to take half of nine so what i will normally do i just bend my tape here and then fold it to nine i know it's four and a half but i like to do this so that's it so this point i'm just going to mark it So that's for the shoulder so we're going to measure the armhole the armhole depth is four and a half we're going to come down by four and a half which is here we're also going to mark four and a half here so we can trace the straight line so now we're sure and this is the chest line so now I'm going to rule a straight line. Now we have our armhole. So we're going to the four and a half. We're going to look for the midpoint of four and a half. This is four and a half here. Get the midpoint. I'm going to mark it and come in. Come in by a quarter inch. This is the point coming by quarter inch sometimes i like to come in by half inch so it depends so now i'm going to trace this point to this point and then curve it So this is our armhole now we're going to check for our bust which is 23 we're going to divide 23 into 4 so first of all I take my tape and divide 23 into 2 
and then into four. All right, I just take this part and divide into four. So I'll mark it, go for the and mark it, and this is our bust, bust line right here. So the waist is 22. We're going to, to half of 22 is 11. We're just going to divide 11 into two. So we're dividing 22 into four because this pattern paper is folded into two. So we're going to insert this measurement right here. And then we'll trace it down. So for the next is our neck width, which is 2.75. So we're going to insert it here. This is 2.75 and the depth is three, but it depends on you. You can use two and a half, you can use three and a half, but I'll be using three. We're going to join them together. Join the points together. Is a round neck. Ah choose to do any other neck you like so we're going to come down the shoulder slants by half an inch which is here and then we'll join it to this point so now we have drafted our bodies all we need to do is add the sewing allowance which is half inch so what we'll do we take half inch here we're going to mark half inch round They come up here, trace half inch, trace half inch. Please make sure if you are using the pattern paper, like you have excess, you come out here, trace half inch, just trace it round that way. So when it comes to the body, I like to add one inch, not half. Sometimes I go as far as adding two inches because children grow so fast and I like to give them allowance. So I'll just add one inch here. Most times I can even add up to two inches so that when they are growing, you can easily just adjust the measurement to fit back. I'll trace it down. We're going to trace all this half inch. So next thing we'll do, we have to cut it. We'll be using this front pattern to cut out the back So now that we have our front bodies, we're going to use it to 
cuts out the back the only difference is you're going to be inserting your zipper allowance so now i'm going to take one inch for my zipper this is one inch here and then i'm not going to come one inch inside i'm going to come back to i'm sorry a quarter inch i'm not going to come back inside i'm going to leave it like the way it was so i'm going to come out by a quarter inch here and let me trace it out first And also for the neckline, I won't be coming in by in the neck depth. Sorry, I won't be coming in coming in by three inches. I will be using I will be using one inch or one and a half for the back because I want it to be like a little bit higher than the the front. So I'm just going to mark here. And I'm going to curve it. This will be the back neckline. So, what I'm going to do. I'm going to mark I'm going to look for the midpoints that I'll start from here you know we already added the allowance the sewing allowance and the armhole is 4.5 half of the 4.5 and then I'm going to take it half of the 4.5 so now I'm going to come out a quarter inch here I'm just gonna roll it. So that would be the back armhole. So this will be the back. All you need to do is open it up. You open this zipper line. And you have your back bodies. This will be your back body. If you like, sometimes I can do a lower back for the child. Like the back could be very deep. So all you need to do is just trace out the line you want. Sometimes I can leave it high like this. And then from here, I can form like a love shape give me another opening at the back so it all depends on you if you want to add if you want to add um two nets to your the back you can drop down depends on how low you want it you can drop down three and a half inch four inches and then add your nets or sometimes you can add your nets in a v-shape cut it in a v-shape and then add your nets to this upper part and then the fabric the lace or the anchor fabric can be down so the, the way we cut out this four years old pattern, that is how you're going to draft out any pattern you want to use. All the measurements I dropped, that's how you're going to draft, draft it out to cut out your fabric. So and once you cut it and you have this, you can always keep it and use it for the same age. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up. 
share it with your friends and family i will see you in my next video bye